Hello, I'm Nathan Judo. I'm here with Wolves reporter, Mr. Tim Spears. Tim, Wolves need a centre back, need a centre back. We're going to the season, we're worried. All of a sudden, what a statement. This is this is someone who is absolutely internationally top draw. Yeah, they've yeah. Who who is it? Jao Moutinho. They've signed they've signed players who are extremely highly rated. C kind of hi hipster players, really. Hipster. Jota, Costa, hipster -like. Cavalera, you know what I mean. A bolly, mm. the kind that European aficionados would know and say, bloody hell, that's a sign in. But slightly unknown then, to the likes of Menu. Yeah, 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 fair. Well, speak for yourself. Mm. And then, you know, Patricio kind of took it on a level, didn't it? You yeah. Know, Portugal's got, but now Moutinho is, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's known across the globe. <laughs> World class. Yeah, uh, it's just a huge statement and cheap and it's um, whatever way you look at it, it's a fantastic deal. Very yeah. exciting. I mean, you're getting someone who, I mean, I think it's Ronaldo Figo, first and second most Portugal caps, he's third. I mean, this is someone who is bring, going to bring some real quality to the squad. Yes, and in fact, I've done a bit of research this afternoon, oh, Nathan, oh, which oh. you may or may not be surprised to hear. Oh, by, the, by the way, they're back. <laughs> I, I, I didn't get the memo. Um, of the um, Looking at the major European nations mm -hmm. and their kind of record cap holders for midfielders, the list of players across Europe's big big nations that have got more caps mm. than Matinho in midfield. Mm. I'll give you... Go on, give me. Xavi, Iniesta, uh, David, David Silva, Xavi Alonso, Lota Mateus, Wowza. Bastian Schweinsteiger, Wesley Snyder, Daniele De Rossi, Pirlo, Beckham and Gerrard. Those are the only players from Europe's kind of major nations that won more caps in midfield. That is than absolutely Jao, mental. Soon to be Wolves player, Jao Moutinho, who's won 113 caps for his country. Uh, was in their team at the World Cup mm -hmm. very recently, mm -hmm. won the European Championships with them. Been a mainstay for many years. Just just top top pedigree. So Pedi what, pedigree chum. Pedi so what type of player are Wolves getting in Jean Moutinho? Thirty one year old Jean Moutinho. Well, I'm sure I'm sure a lot of people will know of him and have kind of admired watching him as I for, for Portugal over, over many years. You know, mm. came to the scene a long time ago, hence hence the number of caps he's won at age thirty one. You know, he's still at a decent age, still yeah. got a good few years left in him mm -hmm. as well. So they're, they're getting a player who's not dissimilar to Ruben Neves, who's the man that we all fully expect them to partner. We know and love. Unless uh, unless Wolves go out and sign um, some other ridiculous <laughs> midfielder from somewhere. But you know, you certainly expect Moutinho isn't coming to Wolves not to be first choice and Ruben mm. Neves isn't mm -hmm. be first choice. So that looks like your partnership. Sure. They're not too dissimilar. S similar kind of genre, you would say. Yeah. Um, you know, an excellent passer of the ball, moves the ball quickly, likes to sit deep more. Th these days, Moutinho used to kind of be a little more box to box, but he tends to sit deeper now, dictate play. So you're looking at Wolves dominating possession in midfield mm -hmm. here. You know, there's, he's, he's not a tough tackler. He's not necessarily going to going to sprint into the opposition box. Uh, it's going to be spraying though. Yeah, spraying L. Um, yes, spraying those balls around. Ideally suited to Wolves' you know counter attacking style. They like to get the ball out quickly on the break, mm -hmm. don't they? Give it to their not more creative players. He's very creative, but but to their to their quicker flair players like Costa, Jota, Cavalera and whoever else will sign this summer. So um, so it kind of signals what Nuno wants to do, I think, with this team in the Premier League. You know, you had Saison and Jai, more destroyer types really, mm -hmm. you know, um, breaking up play, lots of tackles, shorter passes and whatnot. But um, with Sace looking like he's moving to central defence, you know, he played there again at the weekend and Jai not being signed. It looks, it looks like they're signalling their intent for more of a dominating possession type. You know, it's just horses for courses, isn't it? In the Championship, it's it's a scrap in there. It's a dogfight. Mm -hmm. It's a bear pit in midfield. Yeah. It won't won't be the case in the Premier League. You will get more time on the ball, and teams with excellent technique and possession are, are ones that tend to thrive. Well, you've said that they're they're very similar. Him and Neves. Do you feel like you need someone to 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 be slightly sitting deep and someone to be more forward? Or do you think they'll both be very much the same kind of position? I mean, to be fair, that was still the case when when Sace partnered Neves yeah. last season. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they often did sit. And then you look ahead of you, you've got, you've got your three attackers, you've got your two wing-backs as well, so you've got, you've got five players to, to give the ball to, that's plenty. Mm -hmm. And then Sace, Sace and Neves did get forward at opportunities as well. You know, we saw the goals that Neves managed to score. Come outside the box and Sace will pop forward as well. But yeah, it, it, it looks like the, the two of them would be more sitting midfielders with Moutinho, the more likely, I think, I think to push forward. Mm. L looking at it, obviously, we'll see how they line up when this, if and when this deal happens. We should yes. point out it hasn't been confirmed yet, but he's, uh, from what I gather, he's due at Compton Park tomorrow so for, for a medical, uh, and then it'll be announced pretty shortly after that. And I guess uh, we have to credit Mr. Mendes with this, with his his ties. Yes, yes. <laughs> 
George Mendes FC. <laughs> yes, of course, of course it is. It's it's Mendes again. Mm. He's he's Martino's agent and he has brokered this deal. So Monaco flight to Wolverhampton, how is that gonna work out? Private jet straight into near where the Manda Centre is? Quick shot. Uh, it'll be coming into Victory shows in Debenhams today. It's all happening. It'll be coming into Hackney Green on a Ryanair flight, I'm sure. <laughs> um, so yeah, look, yeah, it, it, remarkably cheap deal. Mm. You know, around five million quid we gather, which is crazy. Um, you know, the transfer fees are a bit different when it comes to Mendes. You know, with all the fingers in pies that he's got in so many clubs. You know, we've seen anomalies before. Involving Wolves as well. You remember uh, Cavalero went from what Benfica to Monaco for 13 million. A year later, he goes to Wolves for seven million. Yeah. You know, another club that that Mendes is involved with. So um, it's it's but it's a bargain, whatever way you look at it. So some people might say he's coming to 31. He's just going for a last payday. His legs have gone. What what would you say to that? Age 31, I don't think so. The mm. fact he's in the Portugal team, I don't think so. The fact he's been in you know Monaco's team. Uh, a, a very good, very good Monaco team for the past what five years now. Mm. Before that, with with Porto, so it's, it's, uh, if he was thirty four, thirty five, you'd say yeah. But w Wolves don't do that. W Wolves no. don't sign. This Wolves don't sign players that are, that are over the hill. They don't. Massive statement of intent. Do you think that that's them done now? Central midfield or? Because you're still looking at Morgan's White as probably your backup there, are you? I mean, Sais, I guess, can, can move into central midfield if he is going to, you know, centre back slash midfield. Or do you think there needs to be more additions? I think they'll need one more. I think if if they won't be won't be wanting to move Sais into midfield, you know, when when an injury comes in, mm. they'll want a settled back three slash back five. You know, they won't want Sais having to go and cover in midfield if if Neves is has got an injury or Martini or whatever. So mm. I think we'll see another one come in. I think Gibbs White will probably be fourth choice mm -hmm. central midfielder, um, and then more additions to come. You know, uh, what's going to say is going to be a busy week ahead. You think it certainly looks like it, as it has to be, as it has to be now because we're getting so close now mm -hmm. to the to the transfer window, which is two days before the season starts. So it's August the ninth is the transfer window. We also don't want to be leaving it to the last minute. So I think we can expect a couple more to come in this week. Well, there's this panic around around Twitter and stuff like that. But if you look at all the other Premier League clubs, they're all starting to do business this week. This is kind of the week where everyone's back from the World Cup. They're back into pre-season. This is when a lot of deals are going to take place. Yeah, it has been slow, but it's really picking up now. And uh, Wolves are well ahead uh, as far as numbers mm -hmm. go. You look at Burnley, you know, that Burnley uh, in the Europa League this season, they've yeah. got six games before they even get to the group stage. Yeah. They haven't signed a single player. So it, ha it has been a slow market, and, and Wolves Wolves have done some good business so far. Um, and and the, the signing of A. Patricio, I think, has led to this, in, indirectly or directly, mm. you know. It's called it at the time, really. Once you get Patricia in, it, it says to others, you know, C come and join Wolves. There's something yeah. happening here, and it's no coincidence they've been international teammates for a very long time, and club teammates as well back in the day. So, um, but now Moutinho joins, now, you, now you, it opens the door to other players to say, look, if a player of his prestige and quality yeah. is going to join Wolves, age 31, then more, more, more of that ilk will follow if Wolves can afford them, which of course they can. Portuguese restaurants in, in Wolverhampton? <laughs> no, Nando's? <laughs> Can't start learning Portuguese, ridiculous. Oh, happy days. Um, Jean Moutinho is set to become a wolf for all the latest Wolves transfer news. Make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.